Hi, I'm Teacher Im and I prepare videos to help my students score better in their STPM Maths T paper and I hope my videos can be helpful for you too. Well, I have been getting a lot of questions from students, PMs in my Telegram and my WhatsApp asking me how do you study Maths T? Well, in this video, I'm going to talk about it. Let's go on with the PowerPoint. It is never too late to learn mathematics and be a master in this subject. Just use the SMART plan. Well, what exactly is the SMART plan? In this SMART plan, we have to be very specific of what we want to learn. So, don't go into the topics uh, or into the math subject without knowing what you want to learn. Okay? You must concentrate. Which topic you want to major first? Which subtopic will you don't understand? Which one should be studied first before you can master the second subtopic? So, you must know and the teacher always, your teacher always tell you that. Okay? You want to master something, you must know what you want. Right? So be specific. Then measure it. Make sure whatever you are learning, you measure your progress. What is your highest score? Test yourself. Okay? Test yourself and make sure you know that. Where is your level? That's why teachers always give homework, right? All teachers in uh, teaching any math subject, okay, we always give you homework. Why do we do so? Because in this homework, the teacher are trying to measure you. So you should be measuring yourself. And when you set a target of what you want to learn in this mathematics, always make sure your target is achievable. Sometimes students make mistakes like they try to do the STPM, the hardest question of them all, the 15 marks question, and then they start to struggle. And when you couldn't do the hard question, you will give up. Psychologically, you will feel that, oh my god, this is so hard. Why not test yourself from the lowest level? Always learn something from the basic. Because from the basic, slowly you can build up your confidence. Okay? Make it something that you can achieve. Next. Try to relate what you learn to the real life. Lots of students have been telling me, Oh dear, why do I need to ma learn math? Why I have to memorize these formulas? Mathematics actually is involving a lot. It involves a lot of your real life actually. You learn trigo for a reason. You doesn't want to break to build a house which uh which is uh, like crooked, right? So try to relate it. Okay, when you learn something, you imagine what you see in the world. Okay, relates to mathematics. Enjoy mathematics. Learn to enjoy it, and you will slowly learn it with something which you feel that it is useful to your life, right? Be relevant. Then you have to set a time bound. Test your speed when doing mathematics. You need to know your speed. Try to break your own record. That's one thing that you need to do. In my class, if you are my student, you will notice I will keep on telling the students, do this in a few seconds, do this in two minutes, do this because time 
speed is very important because for every exam there is okay there is time limit to what you are tested so in that one and a half hour you have to do seven questions and in that seven question it is uh the questions are uh you have a b c in it so you need to a uh, good speed to set in and finish that exam so you need to test yourself okay then you'll be wondering how can i do that well i'm going to teach you step by step number one try different methods try use this deep practice try different methods and get them right okay make sure you make mistake and i always tell my student whenever you make mistake don't throw your mistake away put a remarks on why there is a mistake to what you have done there is always a reason evaluate the mistake and find way to fix them so whenever you make mistake in your mathematics don't throw the paper and throw it away don't don't give up when you make mistake because the mistake that you make when you are doing mathematics is super super precious okay because once you know that that step is a mistake and if you don't remember that you made it before then you are going to repeat it during exam so what i need you all to do is deep practice deep practice means do the question if there is a mistake then redo it again and again until you find the correct way that's one thing mathematics takes time it takes time to be major and good in mathematics but it is not impossible okay it's not impossible learn from all your mistake number two whenever you get a mathematic question make sure you read the question more than once okay underline and write down all the details that you need I would suggest you apply the Polya theory when you solve every mathematic question. What's it? Well, you need to understand, you need to plan the method that I say mathematics comes with techniques and methods. You have sometimes your teacher will teach you more than one method. So what you are going to do is you try your best, okay, to get the methods that you need when answering a certain certain type of question go step by step don't rush okay don't rush mathematics you can't study last minute all right it is a long-term process you need to go uh, step by step and whenever you finish a question always check your answer okay always check your answer if there is a mistake just now i said already if there is a mistake make sure you check and you make a remarks why is the mistake made and keep that paper that you made that mistake number three is you need when after you have read a question try to visualize try to draw diagrams okay because mathematics when you have a diagram it is much more easier for you to solve the question believe me okay next one will be study as if you are a teacher okay just think how your teacher teach you in class try to think what type of question can be asked in a given topics think like a teacher teach your friends when you ever you teach your friend that's when you learn new things that is when your friend asks you question try that's why i always suggest you all have a support group when studying mathematics what you know and what your 
friend understand from what a teacher teach is different. Discuss. Try to get the best, best way out. When you get a hard question, try to discuss them because from discussion, you will understand it more. When you un don't understand a step, ask your friend or when your friend don't understand a, a step, teach them because the more you repeat it, the more you understand it. Okay, and the most important one is like a teacher, always test yourself. Whenever you finish studying a topic, try to do questions. Partial questions are the best, right? Or partial uh, trial papers, partial STPM papers, they are the best. They are, they are actually your best friend to help you score in your STPM, ST paper, right? So study like a teacher. Think of this as one of the best way to score in your STPM. Right. Try to knock all those formulas into your brain. Memorize your formulas. In STPM, not much formulas are given in the list. So most of it you need to memorize. Once you know your formulas, then only you know how to apply it. Okay. When you can't remember those formulas, you can't use them. Right, so you have to make sure every formulas you know because every details in the formulas are important. Keep a small notebook or a paste all the formulas that you write everywhere that you can see. Always, always have a notebook that have the formulas so whenever you are free, you can just go through the formulas. One of the way to memorize formulas is when, while you are doing the question, rewrite them before you answer. Rewriting a formula, you can see it and you when you are rewriting it, automatically your brain are trying to remember it. So the more you rewrite a formula, the easier for you to be able to remember it. So, try to rewrite your formulas a few times. Okay? Next one. To be good in mathematics, you need to relax. When you are very stressful about things that you cannot do, then you can't answer it. It is a psychology thing. Okay? So, relax. If you can't do a question, just let it go for a while, but don't give up. Remember, never give up. Go and take a break. Go and do what you love. Drink coffee, drink chocolates. Then you continue with the question. So, there in the, my PowerPoint, I wrote the get enough sleep. Before the exam, you need to get enough sleep because mathematics is something that needs your brain juice. When you are doing the question and when you in the exam hall and you notice that somebody already finished, don't panic. Okay? Don't panic. You don't even know whether they have already answered it correctly. So basically, don't panic. Don't rush. Mathematics is a long journey. When you learn it, it is actually a long journey. You don't get good in mathematics in just one second. Right? So don't rush the process. Learn slowly and learn mathematics every day. If you want to score, you have to do mathematics almost every day. Calm your brain and then only you can spot all the careless mistakes that you make. With that calm brain, you will know where is your mistake. And like I say, knowing your mistake is the best way to be able to score. Okay? And then, that's all. Okay? That's all that you need to do. Seems easy, right? <laughs> but it takes a lot of hard work. Believe me. Don't worry. Mathematics is something you can learn. 
it is a skill it is something that when you get the skill right then you can score i will see you in my next video bye and good luck go and get your a bye